zippity doo -dah. beautiful day, great to be alive. Hey, what's up everyone, this is Chris Brown here again. Now as you can see, I'm filming today's video from Delray Beach, Florida. Now in our last video, we talked about that the economy has rebounded, but you still may be going through your own personal recession. Now during recessions, people act like that the money has just completely disappeared. And as the fact of this last 2009 Great Recession, uh, there was more money that was printed by the U.S. government than they had ever printed in all of U.S. history. So lack of money is not the problem. It's that the people who had the money no longer have the money, and that money has just moved on to someone else. Now recently, Pathmart's grocery store has declared bankruptcy. We also know of the problems that Kmart has had over the last decade or so. Um, if you look back in the 70s and the 80s, they were at the top of their game, but because they did not adapt to the change in business environment, they eventually had to declare bankruptcy. Now even McDonald's recently closed 700 stores because they did not adapt to these cultural changes. Now in the case of McDonald's, it's because that people are now eating healthier than they did in the past. So again, the problem with the people who are spending money at these companies, uh, Passmark, Kmart, McDonald's, is the people that were spending money with these companies are no longer spending that money, and now they're spending that money with their competitors or somebody else. Now again, one of the things that we talked about in our last video is who our competitors really are. And it's not people who are just in our industry, but it's really pe people or businesses that people are spending their money with besides us. So where did Facebook's money come from? Now people think that Facebook is such a huge internet company, and it is. However, there are other internet companies that are much bigger than Facebook, and they're growing at a much more of a, a, a much more of a faster rate than what Facebook has done as well. So the momentum that these companies are going with is because of this culture shift that we've been talking about. Now CNN reported on a study of why so many businesses were going out of business. And one of the main reasons that they found is because of these businesses, because of their failure to adapt to modern technology. Now, a lot of small, medium-sized businesses think that uh, these companies are taking business away from them. And they're not your competitors. They actually want to partner up with you. So they're not your competitors. They're your business partners. They want you to offer your inventory to their worldwide customer base. beach is getting a little windy as you can tell so we're gonna, I'm going to take you to my computer so we can go ahead and finish up this video. Okay so we got ourselves out of the wind it is thundering outside so you still might hear a little bit of thunder but uh, again as we were just mentioning here is that CNN recently reported on a study of why so many businesses are going out of business and one of the main reasons was stated is failure to adapt to today's modern technology. Now, as you can see from this graph in front of you, there are $78 billion internet companies, six of which are doing over $10 billion a year. And so the momentum that a lot of these internet companies are growing at is greatly increasing. It used to be a big deal for us to hear about a billion dollar company. And maybe we ourselves aren't, don't run billion dollar companies, but it's not uncommon anymore to hear about how fast these internet companies are now going. Take for instance, there's a company called Uber and they did $41 billion within their first couple of years. So this just gives us more reasons of why we need to start adapting our, ourselves to today's modern technology. Now, these companies are not in competition with you, as we mentioned earlier, but rather these companies want to partner up with you. Take for instance, there's a small little bookstore in uh, St. Joe, Michigan, and it's called Forever, Forever Books. And while I was in there one day, the owner of this store, and she was, she's a retired school teacher and decided to start a business, a bookstore. And one of the things that, that she said is that Amazon is trying to put them out of business by offering lower prices. And no, that's not the fact. The fact is that Amazon actually wants to partner up with you. They want you to offer their, your inventory to their worldwide customer base. Now, the owner of this bookstore values hometown, small town bookstores. And she might not like it. She might think that it's unfair. But you have to give people what they want. 
Just because she values a hometown bookstore does not mean that's how her customers or her past customers feels about this. So she can complain about it. She can get pissed off. You may think that it's unfair. However, if you want to win this game, this win, win this game of business, you have to play by the rules of the game. So many people spend all this time focusing on how life isn't fair and they're not getting out of life what they want, which only intensifies our problems by focusing on it. So if we can, rather than start about focusing on our problems, if we can focus on what we can do about our problems, that's a, that's, that's a smarter solution, don't you think? Take for instance, this here is, is the Vaynerchuk family. This here uh, is Gary Vaynerchuk and they run a family wine business. Sasha is his father. Um, they run a family wine business in New Jersey. And most of the local businesses were looking for ways to avoid technology. They didn't want to do it, just like what this bookstore was doing. However, what this in particular wine store did here is they filled in the gaps that their com competition was neglecting to make, and they went from a $4 million wine business to a $67 million wine business by using four technology tools, blogs, email newsletters, social media, and mobile. And by using this technology, they filled in the, the gaps that their competition was neglecting to make. And again, they went from a $4 million a year business uh, to a $67 million business. Now you can stick your head in the sand and pretend this doesn't exist. You can watch your customers leave and go to somebody else who is using these tools to adapt to today's new economy. Or you can do something about it. Now, you don't have to like it. I'm sure you didn't. Many of you who are watching this video didn't grow up with the internet, didn't grow up with technology, so it, you don't like it. But if you want to win, if you want to stay in business, you have to play by the rules of today's modern business world. And that is why we are here. Now, I hope this information has been helpful. If you'd like some help putting this all together, I want to send you your very own free CD. Now, again, my last job was working for a $400 million marketing firm where I was hired as a business consultant to the ultra rich. And after spending so many years working with billion dollar companies, for the first time ever, I'm making available to companies of your size the billion dollar blueprint. This is the first time ever, to my knowledge, that anything like this has been made open to the public. You will not be able to find what you'll discover here with us anywhere else. Now, if you use the business plans that billion dollar companies use, do you think that you'd be able to make more money? If you use the business plans that billion dollar companies use, do you think that you'd be able to make more money by working less hours so you can spend that time doing what's truly important? I want to send you your very own free CD where you will discover the business plans that billion dollar companies use to get an unfair advantage over your competition, where you will discover how to use the money your competition has already spent in advertising to get you more business. Next, you'll discover how to harness the spending power of your customers who are spending money with other businesses to enable you to make 10 to 20 times more profits. Next, you'll see how to get other businesses to pay for things you need without ever being required to pay the money back. Next, you'll see what companies like Apple, Disney, McDonald's, and others do to never have to pay out of pocket for your advertising or your business expenses ever again. Just click on the link down below directly underneath this video or you can visit ProStarProfits.com forward slash free CD one to order your free CD. Now, again, don't put this off. One more thing. Stay healthy. Have a great day. I'm glad I could help you and we'll see you in our next video. Bye bye now.